All right, everyone. Good morning. It is the top of the hour. So we're going to go ahead and get started with today's coverage for one demo. Um, if you don't know me already, which seems like a lot of you already do, my name is Chelsea Smith. I am your learning and development specialist here at Action Benefits. And I am going to take you through coverage for one. Um, there is a new feature. I am very excited to show you that um, we're going to talk about how to even more easily quote and enroll for your clients and work with your clients than ever before. Um, and I can't wait to show this to you. I, it's going to, for me, if I was an agent, it would change the way that I would use coverage for one. So I'm very glad that you are here with me today to see those new features. I'm going to put myself, turn off my camera, I guess I should put, um, because the way that Zoom kind of puts me on the screen, I'm going to cover up if I'm in the corner a lot of the stuff that you're going to want to see. So I am still here, I promise, don't be scared. But I'm just not going to have my camera on so you can better see what's going on. Okay, so I'll see you guys later in a little bit. Um, and I'm going to share my screen with you. And there we go. So you should be able to see your coverage for one screen up there. Um, this is um, what you're going to see when you first log into coverage for one. This is a demo account. I should make that clear. Um, I'm going to say that a couple of times throughout today's demonstration. Because this is a demo account, obviously some of the information in here is going to be dummy information. So you would give us, when we set this account up for you, the information that you would like your clients to see when they go to your Coverage for One um, homepage. So instead of a camel, I know, I love camels too, but instead of a camel, they would see like your logo or your picture, whatever you want. Maybe you want the camel. Uh, your name, address, all that stuff will be customized to you. And then your clients could just click get a quote if they wanted. But we're going to use, for our extents and purposes, this button up here. It says agent login, this blue button. You're going to click that. Put in the information that you gave us that when we created the account, the email you'd like to use and the password. And just hit submit. And it will load up your coverage for one screen. if you don't accidentally miss miss when you click the button. So you'll log into something that looks like this. And then all the way over on the left-hand side is what you're going to probably use most once you log into this home screen. So you're going to see a button that says off marketplace and you would hit start quote. And this is where you would be using our um, off marketplace quoting feature for the um, carriers that you are partnered with us with. So you would click that button here. Then on the marketplace, you would have these two links here, one for your Blue Cross business and one for your Priority Health business. Um, those are the two carriers that we work with for on the marketplace. So you would click right here for those two. And then for our purposes today for this demo, we would click right here for the Start Medicare Quote. I'm going to do that momentarily. But for right now, I'm just showing it to you because there's a couple more things I want you to see on this screen before we continue. So if you ever need any help ever, we mentioned, I feel like I mention them all the time in all my webinars, and that is for good reason. Um, if you need to get a hold of someone for help with how to use this um, wonderful tool, you would click on either one of these two items here, whether it is the individual email or phone number to get a hold of the individual team and they will help you with any questions, comments, concerns, needs, desires. Maybe you just wanna express some feelings to them. You are more than welcome to do that down here. So in the center here, you will have a off marketplace book of business overhead view. Um, your information will be a little different, probably have more than me because this is just the demo account, but. This would be where you'd find that information all in one spot. And then you have some countdowns, stuff like that. Um, if you wanted to share that site that you looked at earlier with one of your clients, you could click this button right here. It will give you access to a URL, which you can copy or automatically share to Facebook. 
so that you can get those clients um, in front of your quoting feature. And if you've listened to a demo like this from me before, you know I love telling you how much more likely your clients are to work with you if you have something like coverage for one where they can shop around on their own. It's kind of a little dependent person to person. Um, I know personally for myself, I would much rather do some researching, shopping, looking around on my own um, and learn on my own time and then talk to someone before I just kind of jumped in. So that's a really handy feature. Um, so that's about everything I have for you for the um, dashboard type thing. So you would click right here to start on your Medicare journey, which is what you came here for today. Um, because I'm in the demo account, I just have it already open just to speed things up here a little bit. So once you click on that link, this is where you will go to. It'll look very similar to this. Let me make sure there's no questions before I continue. Looks like we are good. So this is where you'd probably spend the most of your time during um, AEP is in this cover to run this Medicare side dashboard. So if it were me as an agent and I were using this feature, this is kind of where I would bring in the new um, linking tool that has been uh, rolled out by cover to one and by Sunfire in the last couple of days here. Um, if you've done a demo with me before, you know that I'll start up here and I'll go through all this stuff up here. But I want to try something a little different with you guys just to show off this new feature because I love showing off new things, you know? So um, really quick, obviously, this is just the um, your book of business, your contact, like your address book up here um, in this section. So if you really were curious, that's what that is. But if you come all the way down here to the bottom corner and where it says agent profile, this little gear, go ahead and click there. And once it loads, there's going to be something called a customer intake URL here. And this is the cool new thing I was telling you about. So if you go ahead and click this button here and copy it, um, this you would send this link to your client, whether that be through a text message, email. I mean, I wouldn't read that over the phone, really. Uh, that doesn't sound like fun. But like text or email, something like that, get it to your client. And then we will do, just paste it. And... This will show, it's kind of like the PURL that we had used in the past. You can see you still have that option if that's really what you want to do. Um, that, that would allow them to shop around on their own. But this is nifty because it wraps up the shopping URL and the um, discovery appointment and the scope of appointment all up into one thing so that you can get to your clients um, nitty gritty even faster. You can talk product with them and get the most accurate quotes for them and uh, while they're shopping and while you're working with them even faster than ever before. So it'll pop up here. Um, it'll say, hi, I'm training user. Well, it'll say, hi, I'm whoever you are. Um, and it will ask, say, to start this Medicare guide. So your client is going to click on this Medicare guide button here. And then it is going to ask them a couple questions. So let's Let's name this person, um, we'll use my sister's name, why not? Okay. So they add in their birthday, their email address, and their name, and then you can put in their phone number if they wish. And then they are going to hit save and continue. And then they're going to put in their address. This is uh, necessary, as you know, to see what plans are available in their area. And then I bet you can start recognizing the stuff that it is asking now. Now it's going to start asking a lot of those discovery questions. So you can see, um, so that you can see what's best for the client when you're looking at um, quoting for them. And Sunfire could do the same thing so that when they're shopping around, instead of just looking at whatever, they're looking at what is the plans that really are best probably for them or fit best fitting, I should say. So let's take a look. Let's just put in a doctor here. I'm not a doctor, so we'll just pick another doctor named Smith, you know. 
Okay. And now this is where, just like if you were to do this side by side with them, now they can do this in the comfort of their own home, which I think is wonderful because I, I help people sell health insurance for a living. And even I don't know the names of all the drugs and dosages that I take. So I know that when I get asked, I have to go rummaging through stuff on the phone with whoever. Um, so now they can do this in the comfort of their own home. They can go rummage through their medicine cabinet and check their dosages um, right when they have the time to do so. So let's just throw in um, something here. Save that medication. Do you use a pharmacy? This is where they can put in their pharmacy. Let's just pick one. Oh, we got a question. So Sunfair will just show the plans. It does. Okay. So I'll get there in a second, but it does show everything that they are partnered with, but it might not necessarily um, let you enroll if you aren't partnered with us with it, but it, you'll see in a second. It'll, um, I'll get there. I promise. So it then after you put in all of the drugs it'll, and the pharmacy, it heads to the sales scope of appointment. See, you're saving so much time here because now the clients can just put in their scope of appointment right here, right now. You don't have to worry about any of the craziness that comes with signing it. Um, the only thing I would tell you here is now instead of the um, plan selection portion of the scope of appointment um, being in your hands with you right there, they are doing it on their own. So I would just make sure I recommend to them that they check all of these boxes here because you don't want to end up having to resubmit one and wait another 48 hours because you chose to talk about, you know, hospital indemnity or they wound up being interested in that and didn't know that they were going to be interested in it, right? Um, I will say as someone whose family members are starting to turn 65 and I'm helping them through these processes themselves, um, they don't know. Like my dad, when I put him through, he had no idea what he was looking for and at, called me and asked like, oh, which one should I check? I'm like, dad, just check all of them. Um, so just make sure that your clients are checking all of these or, or advise them to check all of these as you already know. And then sign for yourself. Then you would just type in the signature. They would, this is just, this is working just like the scope of appointment. If you've been through one of my demos before, it's just like the scope of appointment um, that they did normally, except you don't have to have them do that weird clicky signature thing I used to have to practice every time before I would come onto these webinars to make sure I could do it not like a fool. Um, so they can just type their name in here and then it will tell them, oh, here's the signature date that they signed it. And here's, it'll even tell them right on the screen, this is the earliest time that I can meet with you. Oh, got another question. What if they don't make the appointment date that was specified? Do we need another scope of appointment? No, as long as the date is, um, as long as you are setting that appointment after the date that is on the scope of appointment, scope of appointments last um, for a certain amount of time. So as long as you um, use it within that amount of time, then you're good. Um, it doesn't have to be the exact date. This is just kind of to let them know that we're not, um, yep, this is just to let them know that we're not um, meeting today. Because I've, I mean, I've never done one of these myself, to be to be honest, but I can't imagine that that's always clear to everyone. Um, and the old scope of appointment, I don't think made that very clear. But now, clear as day, right when you go click it, it's right in front of your face when you hit sign. So now they can know, oh, well, this is the earliest I can take you is two days, is on the, if you signed it today on the third, I take you on the fourth. All right, and then you hit sign. And it'll tell them that there is a submission completed. And it'll say, what's next? Now that I can, now I can, now that your scope is complete, I will review your updated information and call you to set up an appointment. Medicare requires and reminds them again that you have to wait 48 hours. And then this is the cool part. If you were really attached to that PURL function and you were like, oh my gosh, Charles, like I don't, I don't see that shop around function on this. That's where the cool part comes in. You click here. And this allows your client, once it loads, to do exactly what that PURL used to do for them. And it will give them the opportunity to start um, shopping around. Right in here. Oh, I accidentally hit stop share screen. My apologies. 
Let me put it back up there for you. It was right at that, the tab was right there. Okay, so now that we have that going on, if you head back, so that was all going on at home with your clients. They did that in the comfort of their own home um, while they looked at all of their prescription drugs. Because if you're me, you never remember them all. So then meanwhile, back at the ranch, back at our office, we kind of stayed put. And then boom, if you look at your contact list, that person suddenly appears. So there's my sister right there on the contact in the contact um, book there. And then if you um, wanted, I don't wanna make sure I clear everything up here on the screen before we continue, but if it were me as an agent, this is where I would just kind of click on these three buttons and I would start viewing her quotes and start working on um, what I would recommend for her. But just to make sure that we hit up everything on this screen, um, this would be also where you could hit to send a scope. If you did not choose to send your client that um, link, and then like I said, honestly, if I were an agent, that's what I would do. But if that's not your jam, that's totally okay. Um, this screen will show you all the scopes of appointments that you have pending. If you sent one to somebody and they haven't signed it yet, or if you haven't signed it yet, um, which is another cool feature of that other link. It does not force you to come back and re-sign the scope of appointment in here like this does. So it's, like I said, it's even faster, even more streamlined. I love this. But if it's not your jam, that's okay. Um, you could have an email, text, scope. These buttons will email or text the scope to your client. Um, you have upload scope here. So if you're a pen and paper kind of guy or gal and you'd rather upload the scope, pen and paper, you can do that here as well. And then you have complete scope here. This is the scope completion feature that is built in to coverage for one. I'm not gonna make you rewatch me fill out a scope, um, but it is basically the same thing. And then instead of just typing their name to sign, you would do this thing that I have to practice all the time. Oh, it's not my best work, don't, don't judge. So that would be, you'd hit save the signature, hit save. It would put that scope of appointment back into this. It would pop up in here. And then right here, it says sign. You would push the sign button and then you would sign your scope of appointment. I know, right, Dan? Yes, for sure. So it gives you lots of different options. So if the person is in front of you um, and they just seem like a pen and paper kind of person, um, you can you can have them sign it and upload it later uh, on your own time when they're not in front of you. Or if you are like at a marketing event and you really want them to sign that scope right there in front of you and you have your tablet with you, you could push this complete scope button here, complete that scope sign, boom, boom, bam, done. Or if you're over the phone with the person and you want to send a scope, you can use these two features as well. Um, I think that's super cool. Um, and not all enrollment tools have that feature. Some do. Um, but I, I think having all four of these options is really neat because it, you can just do whatever works for you. So those are scopes. Um, so I don't, I only covered that really fast just because, like I said, I wanted to get to everything on this screen before I moved on to the quoting feature. Um, this bar really quick, it just acts as a way to search this list. Um, obviously my list is kind of short because this is just my demo account. So if you had a longer list, it'd probably be easier to find your person with the search button here. Um, this button, I use it for when I'm just kind of exploring um, plans and I don't want to link to like a individual person or use a Medicare number if I don't have a Medicare number handy and I just want to look at like, oh, I wonder what kind of plans are offered in Holland for some reason. I'm just, you know, really interested. I could click on this here and you'll see it, um, it'll ask for like a zip. We'll toggle it to 25 because that's what we're here for. See 2025 stuff. Toggle it to zip code instead of customer lookup. So if you did have the Medicare number, you would put it in here with the zip code and date of birth and all that. But if you don't, you would just hit zip code put in zip code, blah, 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 blah. Um, you'll see all this in a second with um, the list on the contacts because I think it's just easier to do it that way. But if you were just, you know, looking to play just in hypothetical lands like I like to do, then this is where you would do that just to kind of view plans. So we are back to our dashboard again. I went through all of that kind of quickly. Please, if I went too fast, 
Um, let me know. Ask me more questions in the chat. Love to hit those up for you. But meanwhile, let's go back to my sister. Um, so you can view the contact. You can click in there, and then you could add, take out anything um, that you need to there. But I think the easiest way now to start quoting for your client is to click on those three dots and then hit view quote. Opens up. And then boom. So I'm going to toggle over to the 2025 plans right here. Because that's what we came here for. And now it automatically quotes for this client all of the 2025 plans that are available in coverage, or I'm sorry, in uh, Sunfire. So up here on the right hand side, I'd like to draw your attention really quick first over here. So if at any point your client goes, oh my gosh, I totally forgot I take, I don't know, such and such thing. I take, I take a blood thinner. I take, I have an inhaler. I really make sure I don't take it every day. So I forgot that I need that. You can add those medications in right here just for them, just like they did for themselves. Hopefully they have them all in, but like, let's say you just wanted to add in your inhaler. You would just go in and do that for them. And you hit add medication, then save pharmacy and medications. You can change the pharmacy up there as well. Save, reloads. I wish I had memorized the list that it had up there before so I could tell you it changes, but you'll just have to, we'll just have to assume that it changes <laughs> based on that because I didn't memorize the list. So now it will reconfigure its recommendations for you based on those new additions. Let's say that they want to add a doctor in, a specialist, they can add that doctor in too. There's also visit frequency, so they can you can estimate how much they attend the doctor and see what their costs were going to be if you know that. And then you can also add a current plan. So if they're already on a MedAdvantage or prescription drug plan, you could add that plan in there as well and compare to what they already have. Oh, looks like we have a question. Is this where it will show all the plans? Yeah, absolutely. So in the center here is where it shows all the plans. Um, it shows them all um, like, it's like an accordion. So now you get just like the very, very highlighted uh, Med Advantage Part D plans. Um, and then when you hit this little carrot, phew, okay, now you can see all of, like a lot of plan details. Um, yes, this is the same as MedBath though. Yep. So this would be the same. It's it has to be the same. Um, so all, so in, like a high end overview of the plan is available here. Um, it will list, it does create like a little algorithm for you and it will put what it recommends based on the information that it entered, you entered or your client entered. Um, it will recommend plans here. So once you click the little down carrot, um, first they do rate them for you, which I think is kind of nifty. Um, and you get the very bare bonesest most things that the client usually cares about, like the premium and the estimated annual cost, whether or not it has dental vision hearing, over-the-counter benefits, and transport benefits. Um, the star ratings here, but they don't have those out yet. So just imagine they're there and they'll, they'll be there eventually. Um, like I said, boom, click the carrot. You can see your max out-of-pocket. You can see your deductible, drug deductible. Those benefits that we talked about before, if you hit see more, it will show you even more stuff about those benefits. And then it'll tell you that the estimated drug costs for those drugs, um, how much, and then I think this is cool too, it will then tell you, oh, hey, if you switch to Walgreens, it'd be cheaper. Just saying. I think that's really smart. Um, and then it will, the doctor thing I think is cool too, because it will show the doctor is in network there. And then it'll tell you, hey, just saying, this plan allows out of network doctors too, in case that's something that your client is interested in. Yeah, isn't that cool? See, I love when people think the same things are cool as, as I do. Um, I think it's, I think that's pretty nifty that it'll recommend like, like basically better options for you. So like, um, I'm glad that it does it for pharmacies because I think people are pretty open to changing their pharmacies. Like I don't, 
maybe it's just me. I'm not married to, I go to Walgreens myself personally. I'm not married to Walgreens. If my, if this were, if my agent sat down with me and said, it said, Oh, Chelsea, you know, it's really cheaper. If you go to Meyer across the street, I'd be like, done problem. No problem. Great. Um, and then it does not do that with doctors. It will tell you when the doctor is out of network. It'll say find in network doctors, and it can help you find another one if you so choose to do that. Um, but it will not be like, hey, you really should go see this other doctor, which that to me is kind of like, I wouldn't like that. If I wouldn't like if my like uh, quoting feature was trying to suggest another doctor to me, I like that it will tell you, um, let me see if I can find a plan that does it. It'll tell you like, hey, this doctor isn't, yeah, see, no locations in network, you can find another, here's how you can find another doctor. It doesn't say like, hey, the closest doctor to your address is this person. That gets a little dicey to me. So I'm glad that it, it, it seems to, it does know, it's demure. It knows when to do something and kind of when it's not really the best idea to recommend stuff. But you can just delete the doctor and put in a new one if they were a doctor that didn't, um, wasn't in the network of this plan. So then it'll just keep showing you lots and lots and lots of plans. Keep going, keep going, keep going. If you want to compare plans, you would just hit, you would hit a, this little checkbox here, compare. And then this first plan comes up. And then you can either select another plan uh, by clicking another, let's just say you want to compare this one, checkbox, and then it'll show you, oh, here's this plan here. Oh, you can compare up to three. You can hit the compare button and it lines them up, boom, boom, bam. You can see them all neck and neck in here. And then if you wanted to email this comparison to your client, I think this is really cool. I'm not gonna push the button because uh, I don't want to send my sister an email of <laughs> three random plan comparisons, but it will send an email to the client um, with those three plans compared. Um, if I remember correct correctly, um, most, I don't think priorities quoting feature or blues quoting feature does this. Um, I know that, I don't know if every um, quoting tool does this. So I think that's really cool that you can then email those comparisons directly to the client. So they don't have to go about doing that themselves. You can do it right with them and then email it to them. They can go home, sit on it and re look. Um, I think that's a really cool feature as well because for me personally, I like seeing things written out like that that'd be a really great way to get me involved in the process instead of just going, oh, okay, when you told me you wanted something. So then you could hit plan links here as well, and you can get all of those items that you might be interested in your clients looking at. So summary of benefits, star ratings once they're available in English and Spanish, if that's your jam. So you can then toggle to different plan types. Let's say you wanted to do some med subs. Boom, here you are. You can check out the med subs. And Danny, you had the question of will it show you plans, um, other plans? It does. So look, you can see it says shows you Mutual of Omaha, um, Monitor Life. Our partner, Wellaby, was just added the other day. By the other day, I mean recently. Don't ask me what day. But um, that's cool for them. They have some really great stuff. So Wellaby slash medical is there as well. Oh, I see another question in the chat. This all came from the contact hamburger symbol, correct? This came from, so what I did um, is I, depending on what you mean by this all, um, the quoting, all of this quoting stuff, I went to the individual that I was looking to get this information for. So I went to there, clicked to the dots, clicked to view quote. And then all this stuff comes up. I think that's what you meant, right? Okay, cool. Yep. Awesome. So then on this left-hand side here, like I was saying, um, you can toggle what type of plan you're looking for. Let's say you want just man advantage with no part D. Um, you can put on some SNP plans if you so chose. And same thing, they're going to compare them all similarly. So you can see the name, plan cost, da 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 da, -da dental vision, hearing, transport, all that jazz. Um, it does have dental vision hearing now, which was not a thing last AEP. I will say it's not uploaded in the training environment yet, just yet. So um, pretend it has the dental vision hearing stuff here, but it is an option. It's just not in the training quite yet. So just use your imagination, you know, I trust you. So then on this right, or I'm sorry, left-hand side here, 
or all of the ways that you can filter a plan to um, really emphasize the things that are important to your client um, in the regular um, ways. If you had a client sitting in front of you in that discovery appointment and you did not send them this link, it will ask you some questions about what's valuable to them. But if they did not answer those questions, you can then put this in here. So let's say maybe it's really important to your client that they get a Part B give back, um, which are not as hefty as they once were, but if that's their thing, that's their jam, they love it, you can hit filter by plan B give back, and it will show you the best plan that has a Part B give back, and it will let you know down there, Part B give back up to $102 up to 166. Yep, so as you click on these carrots and you can minimize, maximize at, you, at your leisure to see which plan they like the best. And then you can click more than one. So let's say they really want hearing coverage. That doesn't change anything because they all have hearing coverage. Uh, let's say they want one with a transportation. Nope, well now, you've all, now you only can have this one because you've selected too many things, but now you found the exact plan that fits perfectly for your client just by clicking three boxes after what they put in. You can filter by carrier. Let's say you're not partnered with certain ones or whatever, you can click on and off, but it will change them as you select things. You can toggle by, oh, I only wanna spend 20 bucks on my premium. So that changes that if they had them. Um, and then maybe the person only wants a PPO. Boom, there you go. Only shows you PPO. So you can really get custom here on the sides with what you do and do not want to show those clients based on what they like. All righty, so let's say you wanted to view stuff even more deep into the details. We have x-ray mode up here. So up in the top left-hand side, you have this thing called x-ray mode. It's got the little glasses, love that. Click on it. Um, it gives you a little more detail into, um, how this plan would work and what it would and would not cover, um, which I think is interesting if you have a client who was really, especially if you had like a, a plan already built in here, help them out to see kind of the comparison. So you've got your medications here to tell you what type, oh, um, what type that medication is, that one out of one is covered. Your doctor is not in network, but it covers out of network doctors. Pharmacies in there. It'll estimate your drug costs, which I think is cool, and your health costs. If we have, if we had put in that, like, how often does this person see a doctor thing? It would estimate the health costs there. It puts check marks on all the things that are available. You know, dental, fitness, benefit, Part B, back, so on and so forth. Gives you your drug deductible, in network, max out of pocket. Goes into those copays for primary care specialist visits, inpatient. So it really spells it out for, because I tend to, I've been doing this for a few years and now I'm realizing as someone who's done it for a few years now, I start to forget that a lot of this knowledge is not second nature to your brand new clients who are new to Medicare, right? For me, I'm like, oh yeah, why would it even list $0 primary copay? Like, duh. But I'm like, oh, well, it's not duh to it wasn't duh to my dad or to my uncles and my aunts when they were doing this. They didn't know that. Um, so it's a good reminder to go through these <clears throat> so that your clients um, remember and know all the things that are just quick, you know, um, verbal retentive stuff to us. We just, we just know this stuff now. So then it'll tell you the retail costs and how much you would pay for each drug, dot, 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 for your dental. <clears throat> for your hearing, vision, and then at the bottom you have all those plan documents that we saw earlier. Oh, another question. Are plan document links available? So, oh, yep, they were at the bottom. Yep, down here. And then on the other vision mode or whatever, they were, there was a like link button that was green at the bottom of each plan. So then you'll have the plans listed here again. You can just click around, rinse and repeat with any plan that you see here. Priority. Let's give them some love. See, I think this is cool. Um, and then same thing if you wanted to, like your, let's say your client's like, oh, I only do, I only mess with priority. You can just hit the priority back over here. Boom. 
Now we can only now we only have to mess with priority. Then see, look, boop, uh, over the counter benefits, Part B give back, no fitness. See, now it'll change it up. You can more easily compare those benefits like that. And then, oh, see, this one does have over the counter. See, we can just go to. Isn't that nifty? Okay. So let me make sure there's no other questions before I continue. Let me take a sip of water really quick. I've been doing a lot of talking. Those of you who have been in a webinar with me before are like, oh, shocking. She did a lot of talking. Okay. So let's say we're going to go into the quoting portion of our show. Here's where you saw those plan links, Danny. Right there. Um, all right. So you've talked with your client, you've um, came up with all the options, looked them over, you decided you wanted the priority Medicare Vintage HMO POS for whatever, that's just your jam, that's what you wanna do. All right, ready? Let's do this, enroll. You just hit the green enroll button over here. Well, actually I lied, you can't do that because you can't enroll in 2025 plans. Chelsea, what are you talking about? So we're gonna head over to 2024 really quick, just so I can show you the enroll portion of the show. So you'd hit enroll. And I really like that it will not allow you to be out of compliance. It forces you to do whatever is compliant. It will not let you keep going unless you do what is compliant. So these, I think of it as like this, like these blue boxes here are kind of like your script. So you see the blue box, you know, okay, this is something I have to say out loud to clients. So then you say, it's important that you understand all the benefits. You want to review them. And this check mark means, yes, I reviewed them with my client. You can push this blue button. Here's a list of everything you can talk about. You hit these check boxes if you wanted. I like to treat it as a little checklist. Boom, boom, boom. I take, talk about all the things. Hey, yes. Do you understand all the benefits including this plan? Uh-huh. Hit next. Okay, so then you can toggle between if it's the applicant or the per applicant's power of attorney. Everything that we already knew about the client is clicked or already put in for us. Um, and then it will require you to add in anything, anything with a star, just like any other computer, anything. Anything with a star so that it's required. Uh, no, make sure that they have the address. Just different, no. Do you want to specify your race and ethnicity? Um, if you hit yes, it'll just ask you those couple questions, but just for the sake of time, I'm gonna say no. Fill all that out. And again, see, it will not let you go on unless you are compliant. So what is the error? Oh, I didn't put it in an address. So then it's going to ask for the Medicare number, and I don't want to give someone's Medicare number away. So if you excuse me for one moment, I'm going to take this off the screen. And you're going to look at this picture of when I went to Colorado. Um, if you ever can go to Estes Park in Colorado and stay at the Stanley Hotel, I highly recommend that for you. It was a really cool experience. Uh, I would do it again in a heartbeat. It what is haunted, believe it or not. I did, we did catch a orb on a picture, not this one, but I just thought the view was cool. So whenever I don't want to stare at my desk, I stare at that instead. Okay, so I entered a Medicare number and you just have to believe me. Um, are you enrolled in a state Medicaid assistance program? This is where you would say yes or no. And then if you say yes, it'll ask you for your Medicaid number. No, you're not. And then it will ask you about your in, um, enrollment period. We'll just say IEP for the sake of time. But if you said SEP, da, 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 you could pick the thing that you that relates to you. So will you have any other drug coverage when this plan becomes effective? Are you a nursing home or long-term care facility? Will you have any other medical insurance when this becomes effective? Will you work? Then you um, make sure all that is right. Hit next. So then it also will prompt you if you're doing something that doesn't make a ton of sense, um, like the following doctors aren't in network, it will prompt you to pick an in-network doctor, which I think is cool too. 
So same thing, it's going to make sure that you discussed all this stuff. Do you understand? And it will ask you, do you want to pick one now? And then we'll just pick another one for them um, for the sake of time. My mom wanted to name me Emily. My dad said no. That makes sense. But I could have been a doctor, apparently. So what did it make sense? I don't know. Okay. So pick another doctor. Um, and if you're currently a patient, you would say no, but um, since you're changing. So I like that feature as well. Um, and then it will ask you how you want to pay. I always just pick that because it's easiest for me. But then you could, if you picked coupon book or if you picked like your whatever, it would let you put that in. Okay, make sure you understand. Hit next. All right, let's go make sure one more time we get, get what's going on here. Make sure you read all that. I acknowledge. And then sing, this is where they would sign. Um, same thing like the scope of appointment. You can have a text sign, an email sign, um, e-signature, or you can do the signature pad, which I'm just going to do just because it's fastest. And then we can judge me writing the signature. That's a little better this time. Boom. Okay, save it. And then here's the good part, submit. And then it checks it very thoroughly. It doesn't let you do anything you're not supposed to, which is why it takes a few seconds, but I'm cool with that because I want to make sure I did it right as the agent. And then takes you back to a screen that says success. You have enrolled properly, gives you a confirmation code there. Um, goes through all of this here. There is a, if the plan does come with a HRA feature, um, I know you guys don't get paid for those anymore, but if out of the goodness of your heart, you still wanna do those with your client, this is where you would do it. You would push that button, go through that with them. Um, sends them some confirmation stuff. This is your confirmation stuff. I would save this if I were an agent somewhere just to be safe, but it does save it for you. Oh, I didn't mention that. Um, it does save a uh, scope of appointments for you for the um, compliant duration of time. So you don't have to worry about that either. So it'll just save it for that, that year plus 10. Signature types, do we have to be written in cursive? Oh, no, I just, that, um, so I just do that just because it's fastest for the demo purpose. Um, it just clicks and then I draw it. But yeah, the, there's a feature for e-signature or those, just like the scope of appointment buttons. Um, there's like a button where you can text and answering the text counts as the signature or whatever. So you don't have to do it that way. Just that's the quickest way in a demo just to show you. So you don't have to watch me wait around to get a text message on my phone so I can text, but it's just quicker that way. And in the demo agent, the demo agent doesn't always work for text messages. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. I will say it always works for you in the non-training environment, but I understand why the training environment would not want Bug, bug people, I guess. Okay. So then you would head after you have this, you hit close. Now look, boom, there's me. I am an enrolled person now. You have real low dots here. So now you have the one successful enrollment in the last 30 days. You click on it, brings you back. Here it is. Start the HRA, it's completed. You can view the enrollment, start the HRA. You can see when you did it. Now you just have this all this in one spot. And then you can toggle over to if you communicated things you've done in the last 30 days to send a scope. Um, that's, a, that's about it there. Okay, so then you see that person enrolled. And then you know when you can start doing some onboarding stuff with them. You can see in the last 30 days, oh, I need to call them, make sure everything went well for them, so on and so forth. Um, and that's really about all I have for you again, but let me show you one more time just to remind you in this bottom left corner, click on that gear. That is where you're going to see that customer intake URL that we talked about earlier today. My new favorite feature in coverage for one. Um, makes all that stuff really easy to do really quick. Um, so that's what I would, if I were an agent man, that's what I would be doing. I would just be 
uh, throwing that around like confetti. So um, I believe that's really everything I wanted to show you guys today. Um, let me come say hi one more time. So thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. Um, hopefully you learned some new things or find yourself more inspired to use coverage for one. Um, yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Thanks. I'm glad. I hope that you had some fun. It was a little interesting because I always worry that these aren't the most fascinating things on planet Earth, but I really like this new customer intake URL feature. If you have any questions or if you want to get set up with this, please, please, please contact your account manager. They're lovely people. They're right over there. Um, <laughs> and get started with that process with them. Um, thank you for spending some time with me. If you have any questions, contact your account manager or myself and um, happy AEP, happy selling. And uh, thank you for spending time with me. See you later.